Hi, Fred Kelly here, your nerd sidekick, here again to have some technology fun and talk to you about using a cheap Chromebook to watch YouTube videos. If you don't know what Chromebooks are, just ask your kids or your grandkids. They're probably using Chromebooks in school right now. In fact, the majority of computers purchased by U.S. schools are now Chromebooks. These are not Windows or Mac computers. Instead, Chromebooks use the Chrome operating system from Google. Now, I'll be very upfront and tell you, in spite of being a nerd, this will be my first experience with Chromebooks. I had a very specific reason to want to try a Chromebook, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I wanted to see if I could go the cheap route and buy a refurbished Chromebook. Well, I did, and here's what I got. Take a look. Let me open this package and take a closer look at the Chromebook I purchased. So I've got my uh, very dangerous tool here. You know what, let's see if this opens with the little plastic strip that they expect everyone to open things with. Hey, look at that, it worked pretty well. And let's see what we got here. Lots of bubble wrap so it doesn't die in the process of being shipped. Looks like we got a power supply. Here's the Chromebook. Now, this was a very purpose-driven purchase. I work out five days per week, so I'm on my treadmill several hours each week. While working out, I enjoy watching YouTube videos using an old Windows laptop from Acer that is probably 10 years old or more and I've maxed out its RAM. I've upgraded the drive to a solid state drive to try to make it work faster, but it still lags sometimes, especially during the boot up process. My frustration drove me to seek out alternatives. So I started looking at the uh, Chromebook platform with my main objective being a smooth YouTube experience. My research led me to a number of Chromebooks that seemed to be in the two to three hundred dollar range, but I also noticed a number of renewed or refurbished Chromebooks for $150 or less. Recently, I got an email promoting a refurbished Chromebook for $58.99 with free shipping. So I figured, what do I have to lose? Well, $58.99, but I was willing to take a chance with the upside being that my YouTube experience while working out would be improved. What I ordered was the Dell Chromebook 11 3120, 11.6 inch touchscreen. It uses the Celeron N2840 processor and has a whopping four gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of solid state storage capacity. Your mobile phone probably has as much or more RAM and storage space as this Chromebook. Again, the idea is that most of your files you store in the cloud rather than on the device itself. So this Chromebook features things you'd find on most any computers these days. It's got Wi-Fi, of course, and Bluetooth, USB ports, and the thing I was most interested in was an HDMI port so that I could route this device to my television while I'm working out so I can watch YouTube videos. So, Let's take a look at this thing. I can see right away that, again, it's refurbed and it has scratches. There are definitely scratches here, here. And let's take a look, open it up. And it's got a little protective cover there. And right away, you can see the device came on. So it, it came with uh, some battery power. And the screen itself looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like some, maybe a little bit of a, uh, discoloration right there and um, it's got the welcome screen starting so it looks like it's uh, I'm sure there's some type of login process registration process I will need to go through touchpad looks pretty good you can see the keys look fairly clean let's close it for a second here look on the bottom the bottom is uh, definitely scuffed a little bit scuffed there but uh, not too bad and let's see what we got here on the side. So on this side, looks like we have a USB port. Here's the HDMI port I was so interested in. Looks like a, uh, the headphone jack. This might be a microphone jack as well. And SD card slot. 
so I can put in a card with pictures on it right here. This is the power. And on the other side, just a single uh, USB port and then a uh, place to lock this if you need to lock it down. Nothing on the back, on the back side, and uh, nothing on, on this side as well. So no surprise, I was expecting a device that might have some blemishes on it. As long as it works, as long as it plays HDMI video out to from, from YouTube, out to my television, I'm happy. But of course, depending on what your needs are, this may or may not suit your needs. Now, one of the issues is this is a, an 11.6 inch screen. So I have my uh, 17 inch laptop I'll just put that underneath here. You can see how the size compares. Uh, it's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely a difference in the size of these screens. And so, you know, if you're traveling, you need something light, a computer this size might be really nice. And, um, but if you need a full blown computer, this 11.6 inch screen versus a 17 inch screen, you can see what kind of difference that is. So anyway, let's take a look at this computer, I'll fire it up, show you the inside, show you what it looks like, and test it to make sure it actually plays YouTube videos. I'm sitting here in a dingy corner of my unfinished basement. This is where I exercise. Here's my treadmill. Here's the elliptical that I never use. And here's the table where I have my computer, my, my, my old laptop, my TV that I'm using while I'm working out where I'm watching my YouTube videos. And then here is my new Chrome, my new, new refurbished Chromebook, I should say. And so first thing I've done is I've hooked up a, a wireless mouse. Uh, this is the uh, Logitech M705. It was immediately recognized. So here's the little dongle that uh, goes in there. And I just plugged it into the side, one of the USB ports and it was immediately recognized. I didn't have to install any drivers or anything. So uh, that's the, the, one of the things that I need because if I'm, I'm running this thing from well, while it's sitting here and I'm over here on my treadmill, I gotta have some way to control this because I'm, I'm not watching videos that necessarily last my entire 45 minute workout. Very rarely do I do that. Usually maybe 10 minute video. So I'm, I'm having to choose things and, and manipulate things with the mouse during the time that I'm working out. So this is important to have a, a mouse and it's great that that worked without any issues. It's actually very easy to hook up the Chromebook to the television. You just take an HDMI cable, plug it in here on the side into the HDMI port, and then you're going to run that to the back of your television. From there, you just need to find an open HDMI port. So here's HDMI 1. You may have more than one HDMI port available. So you'll need to choose on your TV remote which source is going to be used. So, or that may be an input button as well on your remote. So I'm going to just scroll through the different sources on the back of the television. In this case, I'm choosing HDMI 1. All right, what I'm going to do now is a head-to-head -head comparison between this Chromebook and my old laptop. I'm just going to test each one individually uh, to do different things that I might normally do on the YouTube page. And I'll put those side by side on the screen so you can see exactly how long it takes each one of these to do different things on YouTube. So let's see if this Chromebook can beat out this laptop. Take a look. First thing I'm going to do is wake up both devices. It happens in two different ways. The Chromebook, you have to open it. The laptop, I have to press a button and then type in a pin. So in this case, the Chromebook is the clear winner. Next is just simply clicking on a video to watch the video, seeing how long that takes to open up. So the first thing that happens is an ad actually appears at the beginning of both videos. And so after five seconds, it can be skipped. So I do that and the Chromebook is the clear winner here. Next up is searching for cat videos. Who doesn't like cat videos? So I'm gonna click on the search button. And as soon as that happens, the laptop wins just by a hair. Very small difference. Next, we're gonna just watch a second video just to see if there's any difference. And again, 
In this case, the Chromebook gets the page up and running a little bit faster than the laptop. Now we're gonna to go to the five minute mark within the video, see if there's any difference. The laptop brings it up just a slight bit faster. Now I'm going to the 12 minute mark and click on the 12 minute mark. Again, the laptop is just barely faster than the Chromebook. So not a whole lot of difference there. And now I'm gonna make the video full screen. And so the Chromebook wins just by a very small margin. And then I'm gonna exit the full screen and go back to the minimized video. It takes a little while for both of them, but the Chromebook is the winner in this case. And then, so finally, we're gonna to go to the YouTube homepage. In this case, what happens is the Chromebook gets there first, but the laptop finishes showing all the different video thumbnails on the page. There you have a very quick and very unscientific comparison of this laptop versus this Chromebook. The laptop did better in four areas. The Chromebook did better in five areas. And frankly, the difference between the two was negligible. In my mind, it's a toss up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and retire this laptop, at least for playing videos, because this Chromebook is doing just a great job and it is quicker on the, the key areas where I, I want to start in the morning. Now, I did one of the things I, I can say is after working on this video, I probably could have used the laptop in a different way. If, when I finished my workouts, if I had put it to sleep rather than cutting it off, and then coming in the next morning and waking it up, it probably would have run YouTube a little faster and I wouldn't have been as frustrated as I had been. So, uh, but at this point, this is 10 years old, it's time for a change. So I'm gonna use the Chromebook for my video player. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what about something like Roku? If you've heard of Roku, or if you haven't, Roku is a little device you can connect to your television that gives you access to a bunch of different internet-based uh, services like YouTube or Amazon Prime, etc that uh, you can play those videos on your television. Now, you also may have a smart TV that has access to those services. The problem with those is sometimes those, those services come and go. You can't access them if for some reason they take them away from you. That's happened to me on other devices that I have. With a, a Chromebook, you are accessing things through the web. So anything you access through the web on a computer, you're gonna be able to play it on your television. The other reason it's a, that I think it's a better interface, you have a mouse. This is much easier for accessing and starting videos. Just click on the one you want instead of having to use a remote control, use left and right, up and down to select the video, to type things in. It's just so difficult in my mind to do that versus simply using a mouse to do what you need. And you could access or put connect a wireless keyboard to this and put it over here on the treadmill if you needed to type while you're working out. You could even access your email or Facebook, uh, all for about 60 bucks in my case for a refurbished Chromebook. So I will put a link to several different, uh, I'll look up some refurbished Chromebooks and put those in the description below so you can find access to those. I'll put some new ones as well, just so you have to, something to compare that to. And maybe you'll find this is a good solution for you for playing videos on your television. Well, I'm Fred Kelly. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this video helped you and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.